Oh, buddy, I think you guys are going to dig this week's episode. I got myself another K5 Blazer. I'm going to test it out, do a little rock crawling today, and I'll show you guys how awesome it is. I'm pretty fired up. And here she is. Look at that. This is the new Traxxas TRX4 Blazer, kindly sent to me by A Main Hobbies. Awesome four wheel drive, two speed transmission, locking front and rear differentials. Wow. Long travel suspension, portal axles. <laughs> this thing is built. And look at the level of detail on this. What a cool, cool truck. While you may be familiar with my full-size K30 Blazer, I've also got a mini Merrick's garage behind me full of these one-tenth scale crawlers. Now, I have been out of the RC game for a long time, but a few years ago, I noticed that they were starting to bring back the square body. And not just bring back the square body in a, in a rough assimilation of what it should look like, but bring back the square body with amazing levels of detail. We're talking rock lights, working winches, multiple geared transmissions, everything. I, I've been astounded at the level of detail, the functionality, and the performance of these guys. This is the new Traxxas TRX4 Blazer that was kindly sent to me by A Main Hobbies. Everything I talk about in this video is going to be linked down below. There'll be links to A Main where you can go and check out their vast selection of, of RC stuff and accessories. So big thank you to these guys for providing that for me so I can get you guys a really, really cool video. Uh, my sons and I have been hard at work building a mini rock crawler course in the backyard with a bunch of rocks and and uh, just wood and shipping pallets and things like that and chicken wire. And we spend hours just mucking around back there with these three trucks, trying to crawl new obstacles, trying to plan new lines. But here is the cool part. Not only do I get to spend a ton of time with my kids but I get to teach them a ton of mechanical principles. We talk about differentials and how they work and what a locker does. We talk about coil over suspension. We talk about steering angles, approach and departure angles. They are learning all of that in a practical, applicable setting that makes sense to them. Pointing to a, my truck and telling them what a differential is is often just in one ear, out the other. But when they can actually see it at work and see how line selection and other things that they can do with these trucks makes a difference. They are all in. I've been a big fan of doing these things for years. When I was a little kid, I used to lock myself away in my room with a model and a bunch of testers paint and glue. And I would just build and customize and, and try to make them as realistic as possible. I, I loved it. This is just a grown up version of it that I get to spend with my kids doing awesome stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a slight departure, but not really because these are squares. They're four wheel drives and I'm probably going to flip one.
Is it different than yours? Yes, it's way different. How so? We'll have to get yours out in a bit. Come try it on the rock garden. I've had this Traxxas TRX4 for about four or five days now, and I have managed to put it through its paces and just see what it can do. Let's just give you guys a quick look. For those of you who are like me and you've been out of this game for a long time, check this out. The level of detail, the realism, I mean, from the light buckets to the grills to the badging and paint, while not perfect, is so impressive that it makes no difference neither here nor there. It is just a cool looking truck that really, really captures what I consider the square attributes that we all know and love. Look at those proportions and lines. I mean, if that does not do it for you, then you are on the wrong channel. So this is the TRX4, like I mentioned. Let's pop this roof off for you of the body. The body's all come off. And then this is the other cool thing that I've learned with these guys. Everything is interchangeable and customizable. And so if I wanted to switch a different body on here, I can switch a different body on. If I wanted to upgrade my tires, they, they make lift kits for these things. So here is the inside of this guy. This is the, the inner workings of the TRX-4. Light buckets for rock lights. Two-speed transmission under here. There's a bunch of electronics that I'm not really sure what every one of them does, but I did want to show you guys this. Let me just turn on my controller right here. I'm going to turn this guy on. Let me show you what I am so excited about. These are the actuator cables for the locking transmissions. Yeah, seriously, locking transmissions. Right now, full open, front locked, rear locked, unlocked. And it makes obviously a substantial difference. This isn't just like a, a switch that makes a noise that makes you think something's happening. You can definitely notice a tighter turning radius when you unlock. You can definitely notice more traction when you have them locked. And uh, who knew that they had this sort of technology available in these tiny little things? They really are fun. And let's not even talk about how fast they are. This guy is amazingly fast. I'll give you guys some examples out on the street here in a second. But yeah, this is the TRX-4. Completely bone stock. The only thing that I have done to it is add this little button that allows you to uh, to turn it off and on without taking off the cover. This is my son's that he's been modifying and beating on for a while. It has got some vinyl wrap from my truck. I think it looks really pretty cool. And once again, a four link. Look at this, this is where the controller, the electronic controllers go, and they made it look like a fuel cell. Super cool. All the little accessories you can get that just add to the realism and detail. Not to mention, crossover, high steer, pan hard, four link, triangulated four links, and they have them all. This guy right here is my Vatera Ascender with the RC four-wheel drive body. Now, this one does not perform quite as well as the other ones, probably because I built it, but what it lacks in ability, it more than makes up for in realism. I, I pulled back to my hobby building days when I built this guy and uh, set about putting some patina on the body and patina on the interior. Now, a lot of this is custom, but I really didn't have that much into this thing. 
and I have a functioning winch. This actually works and is controllable from my remote. I mean, that's just, that's just crazy. It has a winch on it. Anyway, let's pop the hood, show you guys what's working underneath. I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's so cool. So needless to say, I'm hooked. I've got another hobby that's gonna take time and money, but it's awesome. See, I told you guys, kids love these things, right? Yep. yep. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do a little drag race here. I'm gonna hand the camera off to my camera, my trusty camera partner. He's like, look at me. Okay, now you've got the ra camera. Ra ra wrong, you. wrong, yep. wrong. Here, here, uh, Evander, go stand over there with it. Okay. okay. Okay, turn and look at us. Okay, ready? Go. <laughs> what? What happened? I'm coming back. Oh, I'm gonna catch you, Ray. Here you can see I'm crawling in four-wheel drive, but I have open differentials. And so my front and rear are just spinning. First, I choose to lock the front differential. So you'll see here in a second that although my wheels are turning, still not getting the traction I need. I've got the two front pulling, but I've got this passenger side rear still hung up. Once I flip the switch to give me all four wheels turning, so a locked front and locked rear, the difference is night and day. This is why we run lockers in full sizes. And I couldn't think of a better example to show this than uh, this little truck demonstrating what lockers can do. Okay, so as you can see, okay. One click forward, front locker. Two clicks forward, front and rear. If this is the first time you've seen these things, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Driving them is an absolute pleasure. Messing around with them, tweaking them, adjusting them, modifying them is just as much fun too. And I spend hours just sitting on my workbench tweaking with these and throwing my camo wrap on my son's truck and all kinds of cool things. If you're looking to get into this hobby, I would recommend starting out with what's called an RTR or ready to run kit. That is a kit that's gonna come with everything. Apart from the battery and charger, you're gonna get a truck, you're gonna get all the motor, you're gonna get everything put together and built. You pull it out of the box, stick the battery in it, turn on the controller and go get it. I chose to go with a kit purchase for my first one and in hindsight, that was a mistake. It turned out to be quite a bit more money because I had to buy all the electronics individually and it took a long time to build because I had to learn how to do it. And, and when you buy a kit, you are gonna be building it from scratch. Both this guy and this guy were ready to run. So I opened the box, put some batteries in the controller, throw a battery in the truck, and I'm ready to hit the trails. And also, this one may look really cool and it performs great, but it does not perform as well as these two, which were built by the manufacturers, have all the correct angles, have the appropriate electronics, and they just work. I'm gonna be building another one from scratch eventually when I get some time to breathe, but I have a lot more education and insight into how to build them now. So head over to A-Main, use the discount code Merix102019 and start messing around in scale. This is uh, it's a fun hobby, relatively inexpensive, hours of enjoyment and time with your family. Sounds like a winning deal to me. Thank you for being part of this latest episode of Merrick's Garage. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, go ahead and click that button right there. Also, I have a, a considerable uh, back catalog of videos. If you're getting confused as to which one to look at next, 
click this right here. YouTube curates a selection of videos for you, the subscriber. They take a look at your view history and they pick one of my videos they think you might like.